Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to another episode from our lives here in Portugal. If you've watched our last vlog, you know the fire swept through central and northern okay. Portugal. We escaped this ordeal this time and thanks to some rain and cooler temperatures we can breathe again. Growing food and flowers has become a must for both of us. I cannot imagine not doing it. There is nothing better tasting than homegrown tomatoes or peppers. It is a pure joy to be able to pick fruit straight from a bush or a tree and eat it right there. You don't have to have a big plot of land to grow vegetables you enjoy the most. Vertical gardening is a great way to utilize small spaces. We are still waiting for the peppers to turn red, but <laughs> not sure whether they're going to make it, but they are beautiful. Huh? This is the Italian variety. Huge. We like to experiment with different varieties of veggies as well as growing our favorites such as butternut squash, carrots or beans every year. Ready on. Mm -hmm. I don't know. God knows. Can you see the, the height of the Jerusalem artichokes, the flowers? Oh my God, look at where Susanna is. It's twice the size of Susanna, so good four meters high. So these are, here are our beautiful raspberries. These, they are called wide ones, although they are not really wide. They're yellow, but they, you know, the flavor of these is amazing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this way, okay. Flowers of strawberries. Oh, mm, okay. But look at this. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yum. The thicker one oh, is for seeds. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. <laughs> yeah, these beans are really, I think, my favorite beans are these new. When we first built the chicken shed, uh, we really had no idea what we were doing and the roof started to leak last autumn. Mind you, it lasted four years without any trouble, so that's okay, I suppose. To keep the birds dry, we had to put a big bucket inside the coop and keep draining the water. So we decided to make a small adjustment before the rainy season is upon us. We found two used metal sheets fitting perfectly. We like to recycle as much material we have lying around as possible. 
It's easier to go and buy new stuff, but to search and think and reuse takes a little bit more imagination, doesn't it? Although our structures don't look like in catalogues or fancy magazines, they serve well their purpose and have been built by ourselves. And the more we build and create, the more mistakes we make, the more we learn and do it better next time. Once the roofing was up, Susanna secured it well and placed several tiles on top to make extra sure the wind won't take it down. You might know uh, we get violent gusts here up in the mountains. Mm. Wonderful roots. Cheer. Wow. Well, I think we have plenty for <laughs> kilos of ointment. Uh-huh. Um, no, there's another word for it. Uh, um, brittle. Brittle. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> Woody? Woody, what? So these are the comfy roots uh, Susanna just washed outside, and I'm going to give it a rinse and proper wash and then cut it in small pieces and let it dry for further use.
As you might remember, we went collecting some herbs the other week and managed to dry quite a lot. Now was the time to start making tinctures and salves. The dried roots of comfrey had to be blitzed to the powder first. To make sulfur joints, bones and skin, part of the powder had to be combined with softened pig fat. Animal fat is known to be better when making salves as human skin absorbs it easier and with more benefits than vegetable fat. It will now have to mature for at least a week before it gets warmed up again and strained into a clean glass and kept in the fridge for up to a year. My grandmother used to have one jar always in her fridge as well. I am also making a tincture by pouring strong alcohol at least 40% onto the powder. It will stay in a cool and dark place to macerate for three to four weeks and has to be shaken well every day. After that, it will be also strained and the liquid will be poured into dark glass bottles with pipette for use. Comfrey is only possible to use topically, never internally. Another tincture is going to be oregano one and this time drops can be used to drink with a little water or with a tea. This should be great in winter or any time you feel poorly as oregano is the strongest natural antibiotic. Do you remember the stray cat? Well, she has made herself at home in our barn and a few days ago she introduced us to her three offspring. Well, what a surprise for us. And for the dogs as well, of course. They are very cute but wild and hungry. The cat goes and hunts every day and the kittens are then devouring whatever it is she catches. They are also very playful and luckily our dogs don't mind and don't try to eat them alive. And once again, thank you all for watching and your support. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. It really means a lot to us both. Take care and see you next time.